there is no doubt high frequency has a role in certain group we'll discuss that but in terms yes. of conventional ventilation there is absolutely no doubt that we need synchronization so there is Absolutely. no doubt that we need synchronized modes of ventilation. And that is the key now. Nobody goes for CMV or IMV anymore. And just to say this, synchronization is when it's going along with a baby's breath. So if a baby's about to take a breath, then the machine will recognize that the baby's taking a breath and give a pressure on top of that. That's synchronization. So for example, if a baby is breathing 30 times a minute, it's not going to be every two seconds. But um, if the if the SIMV is set at a rate of 30, then even if the baby takes a breath now and then takes a breath in three seconds and then one second, with every one of those breaths, the machine will give it the pip. It's not like the baby is breathing and then every single two seconds, the machine decides to give a pip. So even though it's not completely exact, it's very good because it means that the machine isn't fighting against the baby and they're working together. So synchronization is a fantastic app aspect of a ventilator. It has machines. enabled us to come out of uh, using routine sedation. So exactly. uh, it's a very important concept that we don't routinely sedate the babies on ventilator. Previously, we used to think baby will feel pain, baby will feel discomfort, but then we were not thinking about the long-term effects of these medications. So these are all acting through neurotransmitters in the brain, in the developing brain. We are talking of steroids and the long-term effect. Similarly, these medicines also are not absolutely safe because studies like the Neopain have come out to show that it's not absolutely safe. And actually, if you st start using stronger sedatives like midazolam, you run into so much trouble with fluid balance and so on as well. So the synchronization is a must because it enables us to avoid unnecessary use of sedatives. Of course, in the sickest babies, we go for uh, sedation for a brief duration and post-operative babies we need or PPHN, for example. But apart from that, most of the time, we don't need to routinely use. Of course, you use pre-medication for intubation, which is a painful procedure, which again is debatable when it comes to insure. So the point I was trying to make is synchronization is the most important advance 